Hi, this is the daily, the weekly, the monthly, I can't do it, the monthly horoscopes for Scorpio for the month of October 2023. Show your love and support to your girl Marie. Make sure to like, subscribe, and, sh and share. If you hear hacking and coughing in the background, that's my ex-husband. Like, for real, for real, my ex-husband, we're divorced, coughing and hacking in the background because he wants to talk or he wants to be with his friend. I don't know what the hell he wants. I don't know why he's here in the house. But for whatever reason, he's here. So show your love and support. Make sure to like and subscribe and share so I can be far away from him. So on the 4th at 8.08 p.m., Mercury moves into Libra in your 12th house. Where is a detriment? Expect sleepless nights. You can be very creative. But that doesn't mean you use every idea that pops in your head. Be careful about your mental or nervous anxiety building up. Make sure you get enough rest. Do not act upon information um, that you hear first because it may lead you astray. Wait for proof. You have a talent for developing your own unique style and um, unique approach on any subject. I feel also you tend to synthesize the models, concepts, or techniques of others into patterns or designs that make the, that you'll make uniquely your own. You thoroughly enjoy being exposed to new ideas and perspectives. You seem to know a little bit about everything. You find different philosophies, styles, and approach very interesting. Your thinking is strongly influenced by unconscious memories and habits stemming from the past. You're likely to be secretive about your inner thoughts and ideas, hesitating to say what's really on your mind. You may be very have a very active imagination your mind is subtle you're often shy and prefer to work alone or behind the scenes you lack self-confidence but you hide your insecurities well you base your decisions on feelings rather than logic and you're good at analyzing others problems then on the 8th at 9 10 p.m eastern standard time venus enters virgo where it's a detriment so friendships and this is your 11th house of friendship networks and goals Friendships and group activities bring opportunities in music, art, and entertainment related to business. Kindness and consideration are important. Though difficult aspects may make friendships solely for personal gain, your social environment is very likely to be stale at this time. Your, so your circle of friends can be narrowing to just a few important ones. Practical matters seem very important in friendships now than feelings, okay? There's an increased likelihood that acquaintances smothering you and evading your personal space, or you could be finding that one person that you don't, acquaintance, coworker, or just like some student that, that you go to school with is all up in your Kool-Aid and wants to get to know you. So you may not like that because they wanna see your pink. Like I said, um, Scorpio is covered in armor and then inside they got this pink little onesie that we all like to see and you guys don't like to expose your pink little onesie why I don't know it's fluffy and squishy I have touched a few of these few times so I know about it and then when I do you guys like close the freaking helmet on me break my fingers and it's like oh my god it's pain so yeah friendships may lack equal um, lack equality or deepen in importance it is favorable period for participation in group activities you will feel great as you will feel great especially with people with whom you have common hobbies with with an interest you will be welcoming respectful towards others and you may even feel a desire to engage in charitable activities become a volunteer or organize some beneficial group if you are interested in someone you will feel a strong friendship bond with each other but the relationship may struggle with intimacy or deep or a deeper personal side on the 10th at 9 9 p.m. Pluto goes direct yay so a lot of you um, who are older over 40s you are no longer gonna sit on your hands about things thank God but I don't feel like this is gonna happen right away so you're still gonna be introverted so by the time the 27th comes along my Scorpio males especially are gonna be more inclined to like whatever was heavy on your mind this month to well for the next for the last several months during the summer you're going to be more inclined to be more of a participant in your life for some of you you're more inclined to date you're more inclined to join your relationships for some of you you're reevaluating your groups or organizations you're reevaluating your career direction you're reevaluating your relationships with other people at this time as well for others of you this could be um you don't like the people that you work with and you want to transfer or go somewhere else Else. certain things that you were thinking about last month or for like the whole entire summer 
um, in regards to money and growth. You can still be sitting on your hands about till the 27th or the jury is out on certain people in your life. This could also be with marriages and dominating people. Should I, should I stay or should I go? You can still be sitting on your hands and just observing the situation. This could also be a crush and you could be still observing the situation. Then on the 12th at 12.04 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mars enters your first house. You can be belligerent and domineering and a person that really takes charge and gets things done. It is a good time to take action, make decisions, but consideration of others may be lacking. Um, for some of you here, you can feel selfish at this time. You may get into power struggles. You physically are invigorated, but may push yourself beyond your limits and cause self-injury. You may have a tendency to get into arguments with others. You may have to defend your position. Little nuances seem like big deals. Um, at this time. If you're working in an office environment, get ready to deal with a lot of complaints or angry customers. It is often a time when you wish to persuade others of the rightness of your point of view. You may have to contend with others trying to persuade you in the same manner. You may find that you're being impulsive, especially when driving, so be careful with the road rage and speeding. You're more prone to accidents, like bumping into things, you know, <clears throat> For some of you, there could be some cuts and bruises, broken bones, so be careful with that. Be careful what you do. Don't be walking into bathrooms at this time, like carpet your bathroom, okay? <laughs> um, you may take actions that are surprising to others as well, and others could consider you very unpredictable. Then the solar eclipse in Libra on the 14th at 1.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, also the new moon. In your 12th house of subconscious and self-undoing, you can be really going through it as especially if you haven't spoken to that crush, you can be going mental, okay? A lot of mental anguish could be happening here. It doesn't have to be with an emotional affair or a crush at this time. It could just be just like a lot of mental anguish, okay? You have been having um, in your mind and kind of to yourself and whatever you've been like suppressing or holding and just like, you know, this could be like with a crush and you've been suppressing it and holding it and not expressing yourself to this person, I feel like you could be really going through it. Those of you who um like the females who are straight this is you going or even lesbians this is you going through it because for everybody you can be thinking about the ex at this time and wanting to reach out to the ex and making everyone else in your life absolutely miserable um for some of you you can feel extremely jealous over what you see on the internet in regards to the ex or the crush you know so don't believe everything that you see Okay, all is not what it seems. Worst comes to worst, question the horse's mouth. You can be sitting on your hands or all up in your head about this person because this person is different and this person is not going to approach you and you need to approach them. For others of you, you can be your own worst enemy with love. You can have a good thing going or you can be reevaluating your love relationship. You can be more concerned about what other people think of you. You can be trying to fit in and, and on the other hand, you want to stick out and be seen. So you can be tolerating a lot of situations at this time for the sake of south node in libra okay so you guys you could check out my glossary page it's free it's on my youtube channel with the north nodes and stuff um north node in the sixth house is what you want to watch for because the south node in libra in the 12th house so basically you're more concerned about what other people think and you're really tapping into that south node energy on the 22nd mercury enters your first house you are prone to talk a lot and voice your opinion on nearly every subject um pause the log long enough to get uh, your for others to get words in edgewise this is a busy time for you you have a stellum in your first house um for some of you very intense time chasing your dreams um also you're looking to put your plans into practice and use your reserve to chase new opportunities mysterious not to mention you possess magnetism and charisma and you're just the mystical scorpio that i know you can be so you're super 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 sexy okay with those intense freaking eyes oh my god oh. all right so this is a great time for popularity to increase even though you don't allow other people to get close to you because you don't allow others to see your pink okay you need to work on being more open and honest about your feelings because sixth house energy ninth house energy with that stellum in 
um, cancer, it causes you problems with your blood work in your body, which causes really bad problems. So you want to communicate to others, like a family member, pick a brother or a sister, talk to them, be as vulnerable as you want to be, or that one person in your life that you have that one friendship with, and be vulnerable with that person, okay? Don't be bottling up things, or go to therapy. Don't be bottling up stuff at this time, because it really does make you sick, okay? Then, on the 23rd, at 12.21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the sun enters um, Scorpio. You are not about listening. You are about more about, like, being heard at this time. You are busy thinking about what is, what's the next thing to say, so you're really not listening to others. Um, so make sure you make it a point to listen to others and validate other people's feelings. Um, for some of you, this is not the best time for learning things. You're better off reading the material by yourself than listening to the teacher here. So if you're having troubles with school, you know, know that read the material instead of like listening to the teacher because you can have a hard time concentrating hearing this teacher for some of you you have a strong need for communication or you could have more of an active role in communication it's very hard for people um, to passively listen and absorb information that are Scorpios at this time okay your opinions are usually strong you're an independent thinker you tend to be proud of your opinions and your thoughts it might easily your ego get bruised if you're not heard if your opinions are pushed aside or ignored or if your opinions are criticized this is a significant turning point that <laughs> certain things can abruptly stop because you don't feel like you're being validated and you don't feel like other people are listening to you but you're kind of like like doing the same thing and you're, you're getting a taste of your own medicine you see that so you know if you want to be validated then you got to validate other people's feelings so slow down and listen this month okay um, I see unexpected opportunities coming up you will value your freedom and assert your independence more your sense of identity is changing and will probably change this is an awakening um, for your true purpose in life it is a time when your life is more inclined to be yourself regardless of the consequences or expectations of others you may leave your job or marriage because the roles they force you to play will conflict with what you really are or who you really are as a person or what you want to change you may find it difficult to get cooperation from others until you have made sufficient changes in your life then on the 28th at 4.24 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the full moon lunar eclipse, you may not be getting along with coworkers or symbiotic relationships. Be careful that others are who they say, say they are before you make a commitment. A marriage may be going through a period of doubt. You can be like a psychic sponge and you can feel other people's energies and then take their energy and carry it throughout the day with you. So be very careful with that. Try to keep yourself grounded. I like walking meditations um, where you clear your head during the day and you don't allow other thoughts to come in okay keep your thoughts and feelings to yourself and pretending to feel unbothered by what other concerns you have to talk about them work on being more open to others for the sake of your health for others of you not the best time to use your spidey senses because you know because you think you know but you don't a lack of communication in relationships can cause a lot of problems this is a good time for marriage proposals your partner is likely to be very agreeable trust comes more easily easily a peaceful partnership and mutual trust can happen marriage is a period of bliss for some of you um, a love relationship may turn more serious your mate is very supportive of you if there has been a relationship tension the easing of the tension and settling of hostilities can come to an end at this time okay let's see what the cards have to say the page of wands I feel like you could be happy bubbly and go lucky at this time as certain things fall into place for you this month this could be a beautiful energy time for some of you here as well okay um for some of you this could be the focus on your children new beginnings are coming up for you the chariot card of victory is happening confidence boost so you could be definitely feeling happy and receiving some much needed good news this month the nine of wands you're very cautious about decisions that you make or could there be too much good coming into your life and now you're being scared or certain changes that you want to make in your life could be coming up really soon and you could be making those changes and you having some kind of fear going on at this time with this energy okay the four of cups i feel like you can be more invested in yourself and what is best for you at this time with this energy as well for others of you 
you could be um, spending more time taking care of yourself and delving into self-love at this time. The Six of Coins, you're very giving with this energy. I feel like this is a time for destiny for some of you and fate coming in with this energy as well. The Queen of Cups, for some of you here, you could be dealing with a Pisces in your life with this energy. For some of you, you could be more invested in your spirituality at this time. For others of you, you need to go more with the flow with this energy. The Nine of Coins, this could be a move happening. Definitely receiving some much needed good news with this energy. You could be happy on a financial level and emotional level. You could be working on housing association and getting a house. For some of you, this could be getting a loan for a house at this time with this energy as well. Um, so there could be some good news with that. So there could be more money coming in for you in regards to housing. The Knight of Wands, um, for some of you here, definitely something new coming into your life during this time period as well. Um, for some of you, I feel like you're moving because you're avoiding a bad situation. You could be moving an hour away from family members because you don't want to be close to them or bump into them in stores and stuff like that. So you're like, forget it. Let me move. I don't blame you. Okay. Um, so it could be a situation like that happening for you as well. The um, three of wands. I feel like for some of you here, you're spreading your wings and applying your talents at this time with this energy here. You're open to trying new things. I feel like this is a great time for those of you in computers. Social media could be doing well for you as well. For others of you, you could definitely be more cerebral and in your head. For others of you, this is getting representation for your art with this energy or this is a great time for publishing um, for some of you here with this energy. The Five of Wands, this is a hobby turning into a business. You're very creative at this time. A lot of wand cards here, so we're definitely dealing with the internet with this energy here as well. The Eight of Wands, traveling. So for some of you, this could be traveling or good news coming to you. The Knight of Cups, blessings onto the universe. Follow your passions at this time with this energy here as well. So this is a very creative time for you with this energy. The Empress card, I feel for some of you here, this is um, you benefit through the women in your life. And the women in your life could be helping you out. They could be nurturing your relationship with them. Or they could be mothering you. Or this could be mother actually mothering you at this time with this energy for others of you you could be moving in with a sibling and you may be going to a different state or country and you could be living with a sibling or a female relative okay the eight of cups i feel like you're over certain situations going on in your life and you could be walking away from certain situations or you could be moving at this time because you want to leave a negative negative situation behind you. The um, Ace of Wands, taking creative risks. You're more open to new experiences and new people coming into your life at this time. For some of you here, you're not so quick to jump into anything. I see you being very cerebral and I feel like it's the timing of it all. So for some of you here, you could have situations going on in your life. You could be trying to end certain cycles or certain situations in your life during this time period, like trying to get a divorce, like trying to um, get a job transfer going here as well. So, you know, I feel like once your ducks are all in a row and you feel comfortable, you're going to be leaving a situation behind behind you because you're just over it with this energy, okay? Um, so it's just the timing of it all before you go pursuing that relationship, pursuing that crush, or before you, you know, before you move, whatever you got to do, okay? You got a lot of wand cards, super creative energy. The four of wands, I feel for some of you here, I feel this could be an exciting time for you for traveling. Okay, some of you could be backpacking it through Europe during this time period and having amazing experiences with different, different cultures or the mixed cultures that are happening in Europe um, with this energy as well. Or maybe you're working in a place where there's different cultures and different languages and you're all in this hodgepodge community that's supposed to be like a utopia for career and you're very inspired by what they're doing. I see somebody for some of you here that um, you overcoming certain obstacles that threaten to dampen a joyful reunion that you want. I feel like for some of you, you're definitely reconnecting with people from your past. This could be friends, family, or a crush here. Um, the Page of Cups, but it may be a little bit of time before it happens. You may have options with love, or for some of you here, um, if you had a crush on somebody, you're going to do things right this time. For some of you, this is definitely getting the love that you wanted, okay? For some of you, this could be a raise or a promotion coming up for you as 
as well. For some of you, this could be second chances with an opportunity that was a missed opportunity and they can be coming back around. It may not, it could be with the same job or it could be with a different job. The two of wands, I feel like there's recognition and success coming to you. A lot of wand cards, very cerebral in your head with this energy. You could be spending more time on the internet and watching TikTok. The ten of coins puts an emphasis on money. So there could be some more money coming in for you with this energy. The seven of wands certain things could be a process you could be highly offended by what other people say or some people could be calling you out on your stuff for others of you it's a very good time where you have like a lot of influence over other people and then i see certain obstacles may no longer apply this could be a good good time for legal dealings the five of cups i feel with this energy here take your mental anguish during that full moon eclipse and throw it into your art throw it into creative work because the best songs are are wrote when we're sad and depressed. Do you ever realize that? The two of coins, burning the candles at both ends of the stick with this energy here. For some of you, you're very indecisive in regards to the direction that you go into. Trust your intuition or throw yourself into your art at this time to help give you more clarity. Because sometimes when we're focusing on our art, you know, and creating, our intuition comes out, you know. The three of swords talks of traveling. Somebody's obsessed with you. I feel this can be an emotionally confusing time or this could be you obsessed with somebody else. And this could be an emotionally confusing time for you in regards to what to do so trust your intuition okay the queen of wands a lot of wand cards here amazing a lot of wand cards here i feel like you may write to this person i see online dating happening for you or you could be chatting with this person okay um the ten of swords i feel like you could be starting over pretty here pretty soon this could be over the next few months in your new life. Okay, I see a new chapter coming up for you. And the Page of Swords. I feel like for some of you here that this person could be spying on you or you could be spying on them. But somebody is definitely watching you very closely at this time. This could be your crush. I love you, my Scorpions. Show your love and support to your girl by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Kisses.